just discovered an app that has absolutely transformed the way I work in Final Cut Pro. This video is not sponsored by anybody, but I do have affiliate links down below which do support the channel if you use those links. Paste is a super simple application that saves the history of anything that you copy on your Mac. If I wanted to build a lower third in Final Cut Pro, normally I would just add in my title that I wanted to use. I'll move ahead, write in whatever I want, scale it down a little bit so we can read all of the text, then do the same thing on the next line and scale that down. Maybe I could even change the color on one of these lines if I wanted to. Then I would move it over into the corner that I want and scale it down just like so. Then after that, I would want to add in some sound effects to really make it stand out. So I could jump over into my sound effects here in Final Cut Pro and just start dragging those on the timeline until I get an end product that I'm happy with. So now that I've built this lower third, let's say that I want to use this in future projects. Now I definitely don't want to have to rebuild it every single time for every single video that I make. So in that case, I might create another library, copy and paste everything into there, and then I can always access it at any time by accessing that library. However, that brings up the problem of always having another library open. And if you have that library on an external hard drive, that can cause problems if you are on the road. So that is where paste comes into play. To access paste, all we'll do is select all of the sound effects we would like, plus the title we want and push command C. This will copy it just like at any other time on your computer. Going on up to the menu bar, we can go ahead and access paste. I'll click on that and that will bring up this window down here. You can also access this with Command Shift V. However, that is already a shortcut in Final Cut Pro, which is very, very useful because it allows you to paste effects. So I went ahead and changed the shortcut over to something that's a little better to use for Final Cut Pro. Now that I've done that, you can see the item that I have copied here in my clipboard history. What I can do is right click on that item and then select rename. I'll just type in like and subscribe. And so now this has been named in a way where I can clearly understand what it will paste when I click on it. But now from here, you'll see that I've created this pin board. This pin board allows me to save these presets and paste them at any other time whenever I need them. So all I will do to get this in that pin board is click and drag and paste it into FCP titles. You'll notice that the color has now changed over to this blue color. I can click on this and see all of the different presets that I have saved personally for my videos. So anytime that I would need this lower third, all I would need to do is jump in Final Cut Pro, set up my shortcut, and then I can just double click on like and subscribe and it will paste it with all of the sound effects and all of the colors and all of the title information that I need. And this is just one area that you can copy these presets. We'll go into my titles and locate my ProZooms plugin. In here, let's say I apply my ProZoom and maybe I always want a specific zoom where it's not too zoomed in onto my face. Maybe we'll back it off a little bit, but it's just a nice zoom to really add some emphasis to whatever I'm saying. And maybe I don't want there to always be a build-in animation, so I could disable that. I could include some sharpening and some other features just like so. Now that I've made all those changes, I could select this title, push Command C to copy it. I'll select my shortcut to get inside of paste. This time, I'm going to add a new pin board. I'm going to rename this pin board to be something like zooms. Now I can rename that zoom I created, zoom no animation. And now that I've done that, click and drag over into my zooms. Anytime I need this specific type of zoom, I'll just push my shortcut, go to my zooms, and double click so that it pastes it in Final Cut Pro. If this video was helpful, you might wanna check out this video where I show you how to add in a custom sound effects folder into your sound library in Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.